Okay, this is video one of a three-part series that's going to discuss the new AutoCAD Electrical 2016 and Inventor 2016 Electromechanical Link. So, video one is going to focus on AutoCAD Electrical, video two will be the Inventor side, and video three will be a combination of both. I'm going to maximize my AutoCAD Electrical application. Uh, we know that all of our AutoCAD electrical is based upon projects where we have drawings that belong to a project. This gives us the ability to do uh, full bill of materials, other reports along with parent and child um, combinations. So what we have on our project manager tab that is new is our location view. Under our location view, uh, this is filtered out by installation and location code. I'm going to leave all of them active for right now. We will drill down to my cabinet. We're going to see all of the electrical components. We can tell they're electrical components because they're a circle with lines off of them. These are all the components that belong in my cabinet. So I'm going to show how we would add a component here and how we're going to see the additional component in our location view. So if I go to the icon menu, I'm going to simply put a motor starter on line 1003. This will be identified as Starter. I'm going to go ahead and do lookup, which is going out to my catalog database to assign a part number to this. Um, what's great about Electrical and Inventor since 2015 is they can now share this database. So I could actually select this component to drag a schematic symbol off. If I'm Inventor, I'm using the same catalog browser to get my 3D parts from the manufacturer part number. I'll go ahead and select OK for the Eaton part. I'm going to look at the catalog check just to see what my bill of material would look like if, um, if it was currently going to be in a bill of material right now. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to update some children. So we notice over here in the location view, we don't have M6, which was my motor starter. We have to come up and we have to tell it to refresh. So now what it's doing is it's going to go through all of my project, which is only two drawings right now. If we had um, more than that, it would be going through all of them. And it's making sure that it's identified each component. We come back over, we should see M6 now. Um, now that is inside of our location view. These are the components that will be transferred to Inventor. So let's talk about the link that we're going to have to Inventor. Uh, we have a new tab on our ribbon called Electromechanical. If we select that, we have a new um, link set up. From here, we can create a new link. I'll just call this link. Now we have to specify a shared photo. And what it means by shared, this has to be a photo that both your mechanical engineer, designer, and electrical engineer or designer has access to. So I'm going to put it under C drive just for this. And when I hit create, we expect to see this congratulations. This tells me that the link is being created. And we get the setup dialog box. Um, all of this is pretty much grayed out just to identify what we've done, but at the bottom we have conflict resolution. If electrical and inventor doesn't agree on something, which is basically our master application, since we're doing electrical design, I'm going to choose AutoCAD Electrical. You'll notice now here on our project um, manager that we have syncing going on right now. So let's talk about how the syncing works. We go to the settings. We can set this up to sync between 15 minutes and every five hours. We can also tell it to sync on every save. So, very good, a uh, very good link in between AutoCAD Electrical and Inventor. Okay, so that's everything that we need on the AutoCAD Electrical side. The next video we will we will focus more on the Inventor and setting up that exact same link and being able to pull these parts we see into that assembly.